Kashmiri Shaivism and Advaita Vedanta. Advaita Vedanta says the reality is consciousness alone or existence consciousness alone. Satchidan and the existence consciousness place. That is the reality. And what it appears to be is this world. Just like a rope appears to be a snake without any change. The rope has not changed. The rope has not become a snake. It just looks like that to us because of our ignorance, preconceived notions, what not. Memories of a snake and so on. Kashmiri Shaivism says that no, this world is not an appearance. It's real. But what it really is, is Shiva. So Shiva is consciousness which uh, vibrates. The vibration of consciousness, it, uh, it produces endless forms and shapes and manifestations of consciousness, of Shiva, each of which is real, all the way down to the material universe, this universe. All of this is Shiva at a certain state of vibration. We call it Spanda. Spanda. Spanda means vibration. Uh, Advaita would say, no, the world is an appearance of consciousness, in consciousness and to consciousness. But it's nothing other than consciousness itself. And nothing has happened. No excitation, no patterns, no vibrations. Why not? Because consciousness, if you look at it, if you really appreciate consciousness for what it is, uh, how can it vibrate? Things, look, just look at your own consciousness right now. What's happening there? Things are appearing to you. Thoughts, feelings, emotions, perceptions. They are appearances, in, they rise and shine in consciousness and disappear. There's no sense of vibration. If there's a sense of vibration, that is also appearing to consciousness. If you're rigorously logical, not only really logical, if you calmly meditate and look, no, you just don't have to meditate, introspect and look inwards. Consciousness, as apart from objects, as apart from the world, body, mind, just bare awareness itself, does it vibrate? No. Material object can vibrate. Maybe even thoughts can vibrate. 